The next day, I was granted an audience with royalty, so I popped into the visitors' bureau for some advice. I've got, yeah. I've got an audience with the princess regent. You cannot see the princess like this. Um, you, that's, you will not be accepted at the. The guard will probably stop you at the gate. Okay. If you come like this. Uh, you basically need to sort of dress up like me. You need your shoulders covered, uh, longer length, um, with your skirt, with a skirt. Don't worry, we can help you. You can help I can, me. Yeah, I can okay. help you. Yeah, just. Okay, okay. Do you want to just come yeah, with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Can I go with my jandals? Um, I think so. Okay. I think my outfit is spectacular. Fancy. Is that Sirens her motorcade? Yeah, do we have to bow our heads when she goes past, or it's not like that? No, just me. Just you? Yeah. Why yeah. just you? Because you're not supposed to see his face. Are you not supposed to, to see, see her, her face? face? Yeah, well, yep. in Tongan culture, we're not supposed to look at her face. We what? Just look down. What happens if you look at her face? Oh, I mean, in the old days, you will be clubbed to death. Clubbed to death? Yeah. Yes. Or buried alive. Or you're buried alive, you know, somewhere outside the house. <laughs> no, it's a mark of respect for Tonga because when we talk, even to our fathers and mother, not to see the, the face. Their eyes. Mm -hmm. She waved back. Mm -hmm. She waved back. Come, Eliana. <laughs> You're with me in this together. We're in this together now. Mm -hmm. I should have worn my jandals. My audience with the Princess Regent had been arranged at the old British governor's residence, now a royal property for hosting guests. My nerves and excitement were further enhanced when I noticed that she had guards and dogs, much like the Queen of England would have. I sat down to await her arrival, but became concerned I was not sitting the correct way. Is this the right way to sit? No, sit like From the earliest times in Tongan history, dating back to approximately 875 AD, Tonga has been controlled by rulers. The current monarch, His Majesty King Seosi Tupu V, descends from the sacred line of the first rulers, the Tui Tonga dynasty. The late Queen Salotti was a beloved monarch who led the Kingdom of Tonga until 1965 and the grandmother of the Princess Regent, who I was now enjoying the company of. We spoke about the changes happening in Tonga and if the first democratic elections would affect the kingdom. Tongan people are very close to their monarchy, uh, despite the democracy. I think the, the political change will not harm the monarchy at all. There are things in Tonga that will always stay the same. And I think the monarchy has the strength to, to stay. What would you say to convince somebody who was thinking of coming to the Pacific to come to Tonga? Well, I think the visitor to Tonga will be quite a special person. It is the person who doesn't really want to lie on the beach all day and <laughs> on the, beside a swimming pool but rather the person who, who is truly interested in an in-depth experience of a culture that has been intact for hundreds of years and of really trying to get to know the people. Our northern island of Vavau is actually um, the most beautiful of the islands in Tonga. Um, my father always said that you have to do very little to Vavau just try and um, make things a little more comfortable for the tourists because nature has endowed her with natural beauty. 